Oh, by the way, this map right here, this is a, a variation of the Mercator map. Uh, the Mercator map is the map where they unroll the ball into a flat map. We've all seen it in the classrooms. Um, we've seen, th this is a variation of it. The one we've seen in the classrooms, this one you can tell everything looks kind of curved at the top, even though it's a, you know, it's a rectangular thing, but you can see the sort of the perspective skewing there. The Mercator map, though, uh, and even in this map, look how big Greenland looks right there. On the Mercator map, Greenland's almost as big as Africa. But if you look up the actual dimensions of Greenland, it's like not a whole lot bigger than Texas. So even on the ball maps that we've all seen our whole life, the maps are all wrong. There was a West Wing episode, in fact, uh, on the TV show West Wing, where they had some experts come in, and they were showing all the problems, and they were trying to lobby for the new maps to be put into schools. And they're showing how all the scales are completely wrong of everything that we've all seen, that we all grew up with. It's all wrong. The German cartographer, Mercator, originally designed this map in 1569 as a navigational tool for European sailors. The map enlarges areas at the poles to create straight lines of constant bearing or geographic direction. So it makes it easier to cross an ocean. But yes. it distorts the relative size of nations and continents. Are you saying the map is wrong? Oh dear, yes. Uh, look at Greenland. OK. Now look at Africa. OK. The two land masses appear to be roughly the same size. Yes. Would it blow your mind if I told you that Africa is in reality 14 times larger? Yes. Here we have Europe drawn considerably larger than South America. When it's 6.9 million square miles, South America is almost double the size of Europe's 3.8 million. Alaska appears three times as large as Mexico when Mexico is larger by 0.1 million square miles. Germany appears in the middle of the map when it's in the northernmost quarter of the Earth. Wait, wait, relative size is one thing, but you're telling me that Germany isn't where we think it is? Nothing is where you think it is. So, you know, I, like I said earlier, I'm still looking at everything going, what is the truth here? Because even what we've been told about the ball is a lie, or at least inaccurate, if not intentionally, you know, a lie here.